very much. This is one more time. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. My name is Maziak Peters. All right, uh, we've just got a report from our lawyer, uh, an update on their visit to our leader, Mazen Namdekano. Uh, it goes like this. It says, update of today's visit to our noble client, Mazen Namdekano, at the national headquarters of the Department of State Security Services, Abuja. Uh, this is being written by uh, of 4 the liar, uh, to our leader. He said, I observed our routine visit to our infatigable client, Mazen Namdekano, in the company of my colleague, Maxwell Opera Esquire. The conveniality was awesome. Expectedly, our client, Onyendu Mazen Namdekano, was traumatized by the troubling news of the brutal attempt to assassinate me as the lawyer. He was fully briefed on the miracle of God upon my life. Upon his recovery from the shock, he assured me that we are on this earth for a divine assignment and that no man will take our life because Chukwokike Abiyama is always on the throne. He was further briefed on other disturbing situations happenings. He frowned at the desperate attempts by the agents of darkness to give a dog a bad name in order to hang it. Warnings and instructions were well noted because Mazin Namdekano have always stood for peace and protection of our people and not the contrary. He thanked people of good conscience who have refused to be derailed regardless of the prevailing history of intimidation and victimization. He emphatically urged all sundry to continue to remain peaceful and their conduct and always operate within the confines of the law as they have always done. Mazin Namdekano offered special prayers to those who had lost earnings, opportunities, incomes, and daily bread in the course of expressing their firm solidarity with him. He prays to Almighty Chukwokike Abiyama to reward them according to their sacrifices. Onyendu Mazin Namdekano emphatically employed his followers to continue to shun violence and never be cajoled tempted by the enemies of our people into changing their peaceful method. Mazen Namdekano is in good spirit and very strong in his convictions. Miracle is really on the way. I will not spell it out here, but note that victory is assured. Umuchineke, do not lose hope and focus. Keep your eyes on the ball and never you be distracted. Your prayers are working. Kindly intensify more of your supplications without ceasing. Chukwokika Biyama is always on the throne, Umuchineke, and he cannot let his children down. He say, thank you and remain hugely blessed. Ezibo Umuchineke, I love you all. He's signed by Barrister Ifai Ejiofo, the Colonel's lead council, 30th September 2021. That was yesterday. They had a visit, and this is a report that is just wrote, which is very interesting, very encouraging. All right, today is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, wow, I, I'm looking at Facebook and I'm smiling. Our people have said that well, our children are playing soccer in the street. That's, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. They have to realize that we are. We are not playing. We, we say something and we mean everything that we say. No matter what they do, no matter what they, how they try to handle us, we are resolute. All right, there's a release here by uh, uh, IPOB press release. And today, October, October 1st, 2021, 
We will order ESN to go after the masterminding of the senseless killings in Biafra land if they don't stop. I will read that again. It's a clear warning. We will order ESN to go after the masterminds, the masterminds of the senseless killings in Biafra land if they do not stop. It's a warning. And I have to read it three times for you to really understand what I'm saying. We will order ESN to go after the masterminds of the senseless killings in Biafra land if they don't stop. IPOB. The indigenous people of Biafra, that's the warning they are giving. So let me read out the whole thing in its entirety. Following the sit at home order on October 1st, 2021, we, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by our great leader, Mazin Namdekano, wish to place every resident of Biafra on red alert over plots by the enemies to unleash mayhem on the innocent citizens under the guise of enforcing the sit at home order. Our volunteers and security operatives should be on alert in every part of Biafra land. We realize that some hoodlums working for our enemies would want to capitalize on this order and attack people and turn around and blame it on IPOB. IPOB, through the intelligence unit, has discovered that the Nigerian establishment working in cohort with the Fulani oligarchy has activated their second phase of their plan to take over indigenous people's ancestral lands. Dr. Maila Fia, who revealed this plan on the Fulani to start target killings of prominent Southerners, has commenced in earnest with the gruesome murder of Dr. Chike Akunyelu. They will commit these murders and hide under the name of unknown gunmen to attack more innocent and prominent people during the sit at home. We are raising this alarm so that Biafrans and residents of Biafra will be aware of this evil plot by these blood suckers. They want to go on killing spray in Biafra land and blame it on IPOB. Everybody will have to be cautious because the enemies are here with their agents of death. These vampires who murdered Dr. Chike Akunyelo two days ago still want to sustain their murderous campaign in Biafra land, but they will meet their Waterloo. Our intelligence has revealed that they want to commit more atrocities on October 1st and blame it on IPOB. According to the intelligence, these bloodsuckers want to also attack children in Biafra land to create the impression that IPOB is now attacking school children. Killing is never part of our mandate. Contrary to campaign of calumny sponsored by our enemies to de de demonize us, IPOB has no hands in the orgy of attacks in Biafra land. We have no pleasure in attacking or killing our people. The ultimate intention of the masterminds of this barbaric is to make Biafra land, especially Southeast, as insecure and porous as the terrorist infested northern region. We therefore wanted to place our people on red alert over the plot by our enemies to destabilize our region. This has become necessary following the recent revelation by a Southwest governor that a northern governor is exporting bandits from the north to other parts of Nigeria. Bandits have taken over the whole north and they are now trying to relook, replace such in our land, but we must resist them. 
it's now obvious that Fulani terrorists are everywhere and perfecting the war of jihad in our land. This, sesh, this season calls for more vigilance among our people. We must all synergize as a people to provide security for every resident of Biafra land. We won't allow our enemies to create the atmosphere of fear and terror in our land. We are holding the Nigerian state and some politicians from the north part of the country and their fellow politicians in Biafra land using DSS and SARS officers accountable for the festering insecurity in our land. They are responsible for the senseless killings going on in Biafra land, particularly in Anambra and Imo states. It is on record that Governor Akire Dolu of Ondo State warned everyone in Nigeria, especially the South, about the evil plans of some, enemy, some elements from the North, exporting Fulani terrorists and bandits to the South, but it fell on deaf ears. Why have the DSS, Army, Police, NIA, and other security agents fail to investigate the revelation? They pretend as if nothing is happening because they are all involved in the evil plan to kill and slaughter Biafrans and Southerners at will in the name of gunmen. Why Fulani bandits are wiping out Christian communities in the north as being currently witnessed in South, Southern Kaduna and Jos. The terrorists in security uniforms are carrying out genocide in Biafra land. We are making it clear to all and sundry that if nothing is done to stop these senseless killings in our land by the enemies of Biafra, we will have no other option than to order ESN to leave the bushes and forest to towns and villages to flush out the northern exported killer terrorists who are bent on killing and slaughtering our people in the name of unknown gunmen, while mischievously blaming their atrocities on IPOB and ESN operatives. We are calling on everybody in Biafra land to join hands and support IPOB and ESN to flush out these maruda's killers ravaging our land, particularly Imo and Anambra states. Enough of this madness. It's signed by the Comrade Yama, powerful media and publicity secretary for IPOB. We are warning you. The warning is very clear, and I hope you take it. Take it or leave it. It's left for you. The choice is all yours. But we have told you what we are going to do. If you keep forcing it, Stop pushing it because you are pushing us. We are already very close to the wall and uh, you cannot push us beyond the wall. We will have to wake up and do what is needful. You people, like, 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 like we always say that violence is not made for one person alone. Anybody can be violent. We can start being very, very violent. And uh, when we start, believe me, it's not going to end. This is Radio Biafra USA 2.